93.5 K-Day Hip Hop back in the day. Welcome to Sundays in LA. Once again, I'm here, Miss Corey Renee, and I have a very, very special guest. You know what I'm saying? We here at 93.5 K-Day, we already know T.I. plays religiously on this station. But today, we're going to be speaking to his lineage as well as an artist in his own right. Please welcome Damani. Thank you. Yes! Thank what's you so up? Much. No. Thank you. Like, if I could be really transparent with you right now, you were like one of the realest, like, person or people, rather, that I met on oh, Thursday. Man. Like, I just was very transparent with you. Like, oh my gosh, I'd love to have you come in, stop, talk to us. And he was like, let's do it. And here like, here we are. Here we are. Yeah. Like, just like that. So, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Absolutely. So, I just want to jump right on in. I've heard your freestyles. Oh, yeah. Yes, I have. I've done a little research on you. Okay? Yeah. And I've got to say, like, honestly, you have a gift. Thank you. Yeah, seriously, wholeheartedly. Um, I would say, like, when I was listening to each one, I was hearing, I could be dead wrong, but this is just what I hear. I'm hearing hints of J. Cole. Mm. I'm hearing hints of Common. Mm. I'm hearing hints of Andre 3000. It's just, like, the way that, for one, the beats are, like, really poetic. I love mm. that. And then you're, like, ice skating on all of them. So I'm just like, <laughs> bruh, like, this is, like, low-key therapeutic. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. Like, with all of that being said, like, how do you think you came to find your sound? My sound? Yeah. Of course, I'm familiar with all of those great artists. I've studied all of those dope artists. Um, down to Pac, Biggie, uh, Wayne. Jay, Cole, Kendrick, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Andre for sure. Um, so so yeah, it's amazing to hear people say that they hear that in there. Um, because I was studying that like at the beginning, you know, and it's like I guess obviously it's it stuck to me. Right. Because um I was just so um so amazed at how well Andre could like tell a story and not sacrifice uh the flow. Or maybe, or or just the rhyme pattern, or just his cadence, you know. Yes. I just love that, and it, it's really no blueprint to how to do that. I just loved it, and people saying I'm doing it. So, um, man, that's amazing. I love to hear. I love to hear things like that. Oh, for sure. Yes, I'm glad I was able to like tell you firsthand because I just was like, wow, like. You are someone to look out for. Like, Thank you. we're going to stay here first at 935 K Day. Miss Corey Renee said it. Okay. That's right. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, moving forward, like, you have not been new to this. You're pretty much true to this. You've been grinding nose down for some time. Mm -hmm. Your EP out right now, I want to say. Before the ink drop. Before the ink drops. For sure. What do you think was the best part of working on that album? The best part was. Um, not not knowing what was going to happen because uh, I didn't go into that thinking I was going to do an album or do do an EP. Uh, I was doing uh, just recording every single day for real. Right. Um, I, I be, I've been telling people I do this. I got this challenge with like my rap friends and um, we do like a verse a day. It's a verse a day challenge. And those songs came about during that time. And um, yeah, it, I caught it before the ink dry because I I usually tend to overthink and sit on music and just build and build and add and like uh just i'm just very uh just i, I go in depth with with, with music right. but with with these songs right here i just didn't want to overthink it because i felt like it would delay the process and i would sit on it so so long and I, it would just change the vibe you know a lot right. of times so i basically say i put it out so fast uh the ink I guess didn't even have enough time to dry. I heard that. So yeah. Any features on it? Yeah, Blackie. Blackie. Okay. That happened. I was on tour with uh Nasty C in South Africa. Come on. I met Blackie. Blackie came to Atlanta and we just so happened to see him outside and we was like, Come to the studio, let's do something and we knocked out a, a few records and that's one of the records. Wow. Yeah. And then you've already been on tour with like D Smoke. He's West Coast. Right. Oh, you know, Inglewood stand up. That's right. That's where I'm from. So, oh, okay. Yes, yes. For sure. Very, very familiar with Inglewood as well. 
So with that being said, with you being on tour, like what was your biggest lesson? Biggest lesson. Ah, that's a great one. Biggest lesson. I'm, I'm so glad I'm making you think on this because that's that's the vibe. That's yeah, because it's a real question. Facts. What is the biggest lesson? I would say the show must go on. That's one of the lessons that comes to my head right now. Okay. Because um, it really doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter really how you feel. You know that people came to see you. You know what I'm saying? And time is something you can't get back. Um, so the show must go on. Like it, it, I done had times where... I had to, uh, my clothes was gone and my people had to stay back to get my clothes and we all the way in Europe. So they had to catch trains to come back and all type of stuff. The show must go on. What? Yeah. Wow. So my, my, my manager had to DJ because my DJ had to get, <laughs> like, Not the DJ yeah. had to go. So, I would say that. Dang, the show must, cause see, I'm writing everything down. I'm a student of mm. this. So the show. Let's go on. Yeah. And then I see you also performed at the Juneteenth Foundation mm -hmm. in D.C. How was that? That was amazing. That was, uh, I think, the second, maybe third time we did that. Okay. But they, they do that uh, annually, and I was just blessed that they called us back, me and my father, for real. And um, it's just always, I feel like every year they, they do it a little bit bigger, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I just love to see the growth, and I was just grateful to be a part of it. That part, that part. Speaking of your dad, T.I., mm -hmm. we we love him, like, out here. We West Coast, but we have an immense amount of respect for your dad, your mom as well. Escape, they come often. They hang mm -hmm. out with CC. shout out, uh, 935K Day. So with that, um, we just wanted to know, I was interested to know, do you have, like, any songs that your dad has that are your favorite can i do like yeah. maybe a top three top three yeah. i like illy illy um i gotta say i'm just saying the, the stuff is popping up in my head right please now. please do about the money because <laughs> people, <laughs> right <laughs> okay because people I, when that song came out i didn't even correlate that to thinking that was me at all but as um, soon as that came out, man, my people just been saying it all throughout my life. So Aww. if it ain't about the money, um, let me see, uh, live in the sky, I would say that. I love it. Thank you so much. Now, we're going to stay on family because I did see that you had collaborated publicly for the first time with your brother, King. Yeah, yeah. Right? At V103, Father Like Sons. Right. How was it working with your brother? That's amazing um, because we're always in the studio, but it's like this. we, we treat the studio kind of like the hangout, and we all just just know that we're going to be there, you know, later on that night. Mm -hmm. And um, so King, he had a session upstairs, and I, I was playing cards downstairs, and he recorded that, that song right there, and he had an open verse on it. He came downstairs and said, I got one for you. And King don't normally say that, so okay, right. So, so you like, knew he had one exactly. And I'm like, all right, I gotta come check you out. And uh, I went up there and I heard it. I was like, yeah, I started writing my verse immediately. So um, that's how it happened. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 Well, King has been, you know, known to be like, I'm out here. I'm gonna say how I feel. Feel how I say. Hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. And you know, as well, your dad is known to do that as well. Hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so with you knowing that, and just family in general, like we all, if anybody tells you different that family doesn't have ups and downs, like they're lying to your face, I'll be the first one to say it. Right. Yeah. So with all of that, when you see maybe like your little brother and your dad, like having moments on social media and stuff like that, and being yeah. at odds at time, how does that make you feel? How does it make me feel? Um, I look at it like growing pains. I look at it like growing pains. Um, I, I'm glad that I'm there. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like I'm always... Well, what what, what y'all are seeing, that don't always happen. I would say that. Thanks. But like just little, little uh, misunderstandings between anybody in the family, I feel like I'm always like the middle ground. Um, so I'm just glad that... Um, people 
come to me and listen to me. You know what I'm saying? You're would, the voice of reason. And would ask me, you know, what you think about this or this my perspective, this my perspective, what you think. But, man, at the end of the day, we are family. So it's not that deep in my eyes. You know what I'm saying? I, I know a couple days, a day from now, we are going to be back at the studio. We are going to be back at the cafe. With, you know? So, come on. For, for sure. Yeah. That part. Thank you for being wholeheartedly honest with that question and the mm -hmm. answer. I felt that very genuine from you so mm -hmm. i appreciate it for real of course all right so we got to get into your influences can i get a top five of your biggest influences just in general like music period music okay i feel like it always changes when i say it i just be saying what i think at the time okay uh i'm gonna say my father i'm gonna say um I got to say, the rich kids, my cousin, shot to God, oh. because when I was, um, when I was, when I was in, um, they was the ones that first recorded my song. They was the ones that I said, I want to record something. They was like, what you mean? I'm like, let me re record a song. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I got to say, rich kids, um, was that two? Got to say, Kendrick, Cole, Jay-Z. And I dang, but Andre too. So I don't I know. I mean, it's so prevalent in yeah. your sound. Like I can't even front. Like mm -hmm. and just in your demeanor, like everything, you know? Mm -hmm. And I, I see that. So I'm glad you put him down there. Come on, Andre. Sure. Three. So we got six. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's cool. For sure. I'm glad you had that. All right. So what do we see up next for Damani or where does Damani see himself within the next five years? Five years, I'll be 27. I'll be 27 in five years. Oh my gosh, you're so young. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Think it all out. <laughs> two, two, seven. What are we doing? Um, hopefully, um, not hopefully. Facts. Five years from now. I mean, music. I'm trying to think of something outside of music. Okay. Because we know the music. It's gonna be there. Right, the music gonna be there and the music gonna be what the music gonna be. Are you like seeing anyone? Do you wanna see do you see yourself getting married, kids, or are you just focusing streamlining on being an artist right now? And then if that comes, okay. Um focus. I mean, focus, but just that that right there, I would wanna keep that to myself. I feel right it. there. Because um I'm familiar with what how that goes right there. Oh wow! Yeah, like just okay. just in the public. Period. Right. Yeah. So um. Yeah, I think it would be. I think it's cool to have something to myself, and I would say that right there. I want to have that for myself. I love that. But um, five years, of course. Yeah, of course that. Five years, that makes sense. That doesn't sound off. Right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Closer to thirty. Right, close to thirty, yeah. Okay. Um, grown. Come on now. For sure. All caps. Dang, let me see. I can't really think of nothing outside of music. Of course, growing as a human, but that's like that's a general statement. Um, I feel like you answered it pretty you think much. So? Yeah, we we worked it out together. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> we sure, we sure did. How about? <laughs> uh, All right. That is perfect. Well. Honestly, you kind of just like mowed through all my questions, Damani. You killed it. And yeah. yeah. And I just really appreciate you being here. Like, because I know like your time is valuable. You guys was hitting the pavement running. I was trying to catch you on the way <laughs> out the door. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I'm glad we caught each other though. Same. Seriously. Yeah. And please know that whenever you are in LA, let me know. Tap mm. in with me, Ryan. You know what time it is. I'd love to have you back. Thank you so much. Thank you. And that, you guys, is that. We are 935K Day Hip Hop back yeah. in the day.